Hello gamers and welcome to an Absolver video. Today we beat the world record for Absolver and I just wanted to give commentary over it to express my methods of what I did to beat this game. So as you can see I'm naming my character. There's a lot of R's in my name because I had uh, quite a few attempts. But this is the one. I mean I could probably still beat the record of this attempt by a few seconds but this is close to perfect. So we just start off the game, start running straight away, make sure to skip the cutscene. And you just want to run through the whole tutorial, not even fight one opponent until the end. You can see the game is teaching us things, whatever, just jump down. Yeah, I could probably save half a second of there. I tried to use the guard break straight away, but... For some reason, my stun switched and I had to use it as a second attack. So yeah, just run past everyone. Up the stairs. I have to go around for this part because there's a little mini boss, I guess. Or just the strongest NPC in the tutorial area that you need to beat. This guy, Solan. Yeah, just smacking him with the Imperial March combo. It's the Forsaken Default class combo, basically. There we go. And while we're opening this door, just take off all the clothes so we run faster. So yeah, I've run past everyone and out of the tutorial zone. Do a little emote here. <laughs> now this is the one and only loading screen. So I submitted my times for without loads and with loads. But for the time that you see on the screen, this is with loads. And yeah, we skip the cutscene completely and just keep running, bro. Keep running. This is literally a game made for speedrunning. Because all you do in the speedrun is just run. And fight like two opponents. And we need to get to the adult temple. So... Is the shortest route. Tower of Adal. Now, this upcoming segment probably took me the longest to do. There's so many attempts failed just because of this jump that I'm gonna do. There is a trick to it. Basically, when you do this jump, you can pause the video or just go slow motion. There is a little ledge they can still walk on. And then you do a sprinting attack and you get off there. And when you get to this part, there's a loading square that you have to like activate. You'll see your game saving on the bottom right side of the screen. As you see now. And that means basically you activate it there, and when you die, you're gonna respawn there inside of the tower. Amazing. Now all you need to do is run upstairs. And if you pick up weapons, your weight increases, and that will slow your speed by maybe a few seconds. So be careful when picking up things. Yeah, just run past everyone. Don't get into any fights. Now 
Now there's a little loading screen that's gonna happen here, but it's like one second less, and you just recover all your stamina. And we're in the final area, so here you just need to keep running and running, like the whole speed run, basically seven minutes of running. Well, like six minutes running, one minute fighting, but. The amount of times I've played Observer and like traveled the map, I already probably know how to move around with my eyes closed, so. The speed run isn't too hard, but... Oh, I got stuck there. Okay. That probably could have saved me 0 0.10 seconds. Don't activate any alters, by the way. That's going to cost you a few seconds. If you're doing the speed run, of course. If you're playing normally, activate all of them. And we need to do the combo on Rizrin, the one that we did, that one that we did on Selena. My parries went perfect all fight, as you can see. I did mess up a bit. If someone is like a god in Forsaken, he can probably got a few seconds of the fight by doing perfect parries. Luckily, I moved away our Rizrin here, so I didn't even need to parry and just regen the stamina. Just keep kicking up. Nice parries, though. And sometimes she does slow moves, so you can just interrupt her. Plus, as a Forsaken, you have two 10 frame moves, so it's not even too hard to interrupt her. I'm gonna do air, I think. Yeah, I kept messing the parry, so I just started smashing the temporary moves. And that's it. As soon as the cutscene starts, that's the end of the speedrun. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.